Hello, welcome to this week's video. It's all about area and perimeter. A couple of things we need to know first before we start. The area is the number of square units needed to cover the inside of a shape. Okay? And the perimeter is the distance around the outside of the shape. We often tell the children, think about the rim of something, it's the edge of something, is the perimeter. It helps you remember it. I can make that a little bit smaller. To work out the area of a rectangle, first of all, we need a rectangle. Here we go. Work out the area of a rectangle. When you haven't got the squares that you can count, easiest way to do it is to get the length. So if the length was eight centimeters and this side was three centimeters, you would do eight multiplied by three equals 24. Now I haven't got room for my centimeters squared, so I'm gonna put my answer down here, centimeters squared. We put that little two up there. It's really important that when we've done our calculation we put the right unit at the end so whether it's meters or centimeters and whether it is a straightforward unit we're just measuring a straight line we use just the unit so centimeters meters if it's a square unit when we've got squares and we're working at area we put that little centimeter squared symbol there to work out the perimeter of a shape we just add the length and the width and the length and the width again so now we're coming to the first problem. Now, we've said it before, it's great to do your jottings, it's great to annotate, never more so is that true than when it's with area and perimeter and shapes. Lara has some identical rectangles. They are seven meters long, we can see that here, and they are two centimeters wide. It is not actual size, we can't go measuring things. She uses five of her rectangles to make the large rectangle below, which we can see here. What is the perimeter of the large rectangle? So I know the perimeter is all the way around the outside. We always start with what we know, and then that'll help us get to our answer. I also know that these bits here are two centimeters long. So if that bit's two, the next bit's two, and two, and two, and two, and I know this side is seven. If I know this side is seven, then the opposite side is also seven. So I need to work out how long this bottom side is here. And I've got two, and two, and two, and two, and two. I can even write those numbers in. I know five twos are 10. So it's 10 on this side, 10 on the other side. And because the perimeter is all the way around the outside, all I need to do then is to add my two sides together. So I know 10 and 10 is 20. Seven and seven is 14. And then add those up, and that will get me to my answer. Now, the next part is, what is the area of the large rectangle? And obviously, to work out the area, I need to have worked out the perimeter first. But now I have worked out the perimeter, working out the area should be fairly straightforward. So I have my rectangle here. I know this side is 7, I know this side is 10, and I know that length times width gives me my area. And I need to remember as well, that when I do it, I need to put my centimetres squared in when I finish. So what is the area of the large rectangle? What is the perimeter of the large rectangle? If you do your annotations, you do your jottings and write things on the sheet, it shouldn't cause too much of a problem as long as you know your area and your perimeter and the difference between the two, which is basically what this question is testing. Second question is a bit more involved, a bit trickier, and we know that, partly because it looks tricky, but also because we've got this big box down here for us to do all of our working out in, and it says, show your method. Two marks available, so even if you do a little bit of a mistake somewhere when you're working out, if you've carried that through, you might get one mark still. But you do need to be doing the right operations all the way through. So I always think about what I know. I know the area of this shape here, the T-shape, is 90 centimeters squared. I know that 90 centimeters is made up of three shapes. I need to work out the value of x, which is one of the sides. Now I know I can't work out one of the sides until I work out the area of one of the shapes. So I've got three shapes here. Three shapes have an area of 90 centimeters squared. So the whole area is 90 centimeters. That's made up of three shapes. I can use my part whole bar model here. I've got 90 centimeters on the top. It's made up of three shapes. So do 90 divided by three, 90 divided by 3, 3 goes into 9 3 times, 30. So I've got 30, 30, 30. So I know now each of my rectangles is 30 
centimetres squared. So now I don't need to think about the whole T-shape. I just need to think about this rectangle here. So I'm simplifying the problem a, bit, a little bit as I go along. Now I know that that rectangle, just draw myself my own little version of it here, not very neatly. I've got X on the end. I've just spun it around to make it a little bit easier for me, but it doesn't make any difference. I don't know this side. I know the area is 30 centimetres squared. And I know the area is created or calculated by doing length times width. So at the moment we've got length times by width equals 30. But I don't know either of those, so I need to look for clues. I look up here and I can see that 2, the length of 2 rectangles, is 12 centimetres. So again, part whole. Whole length is 12. So one of them must be half of 12. That would be 6. So I know that this side is 6 centimetres long. So my length is 6. I don't know my width. But now I can see that I've written it out, I've done my jottings, I'm left with quite a simple calculation really. 6 times something is 30. I can count in my 6's or I might just know it. 6 times 5 is 30. So this side must be 5, because when I times the length by the width, I'm going to get 30 centimetres squared. I nearly forgot my squared symbol there. So how long is value x? Value x is 5 centimetres. And all of this jottings shows me how I've got to that answer. Hope that makes sense. Thank you for watching.